Welcome to the update. I'm Tiffany. I'm Daniel. And I'm Jai. Today we are covering current world events, talking about the definition of what an insurrection is, and of course, our favorite part of the show, where we all look back on this day in history and so much more. The update is coming up next. Thanks again for being with us here today. Let's start off the show the only way we can, where we find out what's happening in the world with the haps with the maps. Russia has been bombing all areas of Ukraine. It's no holds barred now, as men, women, children, buildings, shopping markets, I mean, all of it, they're all targets. And just like Russia's symbolic perch bridge, one of Ukraine's most popular tourist sites, a glass bridge, was attacked but remained standing. Now leaders around the world have been condemning Putin's moves. Pope Francis of the Vatican is one of those voices and has condemned the war and the increasing attacks on civilians. Canada has agreed to sending 15 million more in winter clothing, another 15.2 million in howitzer ammunition, and an additional 15.3 million of high-tech cameras and communication services. The Netherlands is providing 15 million worth of air defense missiles to Ukraine, and more than 50 country leaders gathered to meet at the NATO headquarters where they promised to send additional weapons to Ukraine. And talk about impressive, a crowdfunding mission to raise funds to purchase kamikaze drones for the Ukrainian armed forces and within 24 hours, a whopping 9.6 million was raised. All of this increase in additional aid is attributed to the constant bombing of Ukraine by Russia. Another escalating fear is how winter is going to pan out over Europe. Russia's Gazprom has warned the whole towns, that whole towns in Europe could freeze this winter. For Russia, they are a bit frustrated as Ukraine's military has been successful in taking back region from, regions from Russian troops. Five settlements in the eastern district of the northeast of the Kherson region were taken back in just one day. And Russian media has estimated the number of irrecoverable losses or men who have been killed, went missing, died from wounds, or were disabled, and the amount of 90,000 soldiers. Russian forces are being depleted of ammunition and weapons, and due to the sanctions imposed, they are not able to produce the necessary equipment. And despite this, there has been developments with the Nord Stream 2. One link is good to go, according to Putin, to begin delivering gas again. However, the EU is still deciding on whether it should resume. Now, eight people have been detained over the Kerch Bridge bombing, linking Crimea to Russia, and Russian officials are claiming the attack was coordinated by another top official for Ukraine. Putin is set to meet President Recep Tayyip Erdogan and talk about a possible way to end the war and we'll make sure to keep you updated on Monday. Headed next to Latin America in Colombia, who is known for environmental defender dangers, has finally ratified Latin American legislation regarding the environment and those who fight to protect it. The Escazú Agreement was adopted on March 4th back in 2018 in Costa Rica and gave four pillar of rights, which are access to information, meaning any citizen has the right to request environmental information without presenting major justification and to receive it within the next 30 days. Next, access to participation in environmental decision making, which means any person who could be affected by decisions regarding the environmental projects must be informed and summoned for participating so the public's viewpoint will be taken into consideration. Third, we have access to justice in environmental matters. And this is to appeal um, any and challenge decisions concerning these first two points, access to information and participation. This principle also guarantees states will provide entities with experience on environmental matters. And then finally, they have protection for environmental defenders, which is huge there. This means that states must secure a safe environment for environmental human rights defenders recognize the rights of, of the defenders to participate in environmental defense activities and prevent, investigate, and punish attacks committed on environmental defenders. 
Now on to the U.S. You've probably been hearing about what some call an insurrection and others simply call a rally that got out of hand that took place on January 6th of 2021. There are all kinds of opinions on this story, so make sure you do as much research as possible so you can come to your own decision. The media is great at using trigger words to invoke specific feelings, so don't be fooled or misguided by opinions that have an agenda. Moving on, the first Native American woman has been in space. NASA, NASA astronaut Nicole Mann made history last week by becoming the first Native American woman in space and the first woman to command a Crew Dragon capsule, where Mann is the mission commander. A little more background info, Nicole Mann is enrolled in the Round Valley Indian Tribes in Northern California and is also a colonel in the U.S. Marine Corps where she served as a test pilot and was deployed twice in operations in both Iraq and Afghanistan. Mann's response to the recognition, she says, it's important that we communicate this to our community so that other Native kids if they thought maybe this was not a possibility or to realize that some of those barriers that used to be there are really starting to get broken down. What an inspiring story of strength, courage, and determination. Next up, when will the inflation increase stop? Well, not anytime soon, unfortunately. September alone saw an increase of 8.2% when compared to the same time last year and overall from August, there was a 0.4% increase. Now the feds have been trying to combat inflation by increasing rates. However, it hasn't been a huge deterrent yet. Families are still seeing rises in food, housing, and gas prices. Even department stores are starting to offer discounts early this year. The topic of inflation is sure to be of importance come midterm election time in November. Definitely interesting times we are living in for sure. And stay tuned, up next we'll be, we will be talking about the Insurrection Act, what it is, what it means, and why it's important.